Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm That Doll Guy and it has been yet another minute. Hopefully all of you have stayed safe. Hopefully all of you have gotten COVID vaccinated. It has been crazy, hasn't it, this year? Um, when, when last we left off, I was, um, I had gotten a vintage doll haul and, um, an EG, a net, and I had been working on cleaning up her clothes. I got her from the original owner and I was going to clean her up and reset her, which I did. Um, and I was going to do a part two of the video showing my progress. Um, however, life took over, got busy with work and everything else in between and kind of doing a lot for my nine to five. So I have been out of the, the YouTube thing for a minute, but I found something to get me back into it. Um, today I'm going to be doing another unboxing and review. And this time is something so new, so different. You may have heard of this doll or you may not have. And this might be your first time hearing of her. She's very new, released I believe in 2020, maybe late 2019. And we are going to be unboxing my very first Fabiola of Hollywood fashion doll created by Mike Buse. And I have um, seen her on Facebook and some of the groups and I really always thought she was awesome. This is a new creation, like I said. She has, everything about her is one of a kind. Oh my goodness, here's my babies. Here's my babies. <laughs> they want to join the video. Come on up. Come on up, Maisie Lynn. Oh, okay, or don't. But anyway, oh God, interruptions. So <laughs> I've seen Fabiola and I really wanted her. I wasn't quite sure when she first came out. She has special features that you will talk about in the video. Um, but this is going to be just a review. Um, the more I saw her, the more I just had to have her. I, I saw the excitement about her and I really grew to appreciate um, her hand-painted features and everything is just kind of done by hand. This is definitely a grassroots doll line that I'm so excited about. So, I just got this package shipped from Mike, just arrived today. I kind of pre-cut the edges because I do everything with my iPhone. My videos, as you know, I've said before, are terrible. I'm not a good YouTuber at all. So, I've seen some unboxing, so I know what to expect as far as the packaging goes. And I want to say, obviously, that this packaging, this box is nice, well sealed. And when we open up the box, we're going to see... Ugh, come on now. Or not. <laughs> oh, come on, doll guy. Get it together here. So, of course, I had to stop the video to open this box flap. And my baby Maisie Lynn is here to help. She's my chihuahua. She's a year old. She's a She was an adoption. <clears throat> but anyway, so here we go. We have, again, this really cute... What do you call this? Like, it's not crepe paper, but it's kind of crepe paper. Anyway, it's padding, of course, to keep the, the content safe. But it's just... It's pretty. It's cute. It's just a nice little extra kind of cute thing to add to like the surprise like I feel like what I've seen and what I'm feeling um unboxing these things it's like it's an experience it is it is an experience I mean we've all gotten those um more established doll line dolls like IT and Mattel and all that kind of stuff and and it is what you get but like this is such a baby company just such a startup that they are Mike is just really about the impact and everything from the dolls to the experience is one of a kind so we're going to take a look in here hopefully Maisie doesn't eat my packaging and it comes with a handwritten note very cute, nice handwriting, and a set of eyebrows and beauty marks, which are kind of like, yep, she's going to eat it. She's going to eat that packaging. Um, <laughs> it's You're going to see what the feature, why, 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 why we're going to be having these. So we're going to take a look at those later. And the note is a, such a special touch. Mike really, really wants everybody to have just an amazing experience when he opens when they open their special dolls that's made for them. So, here we go. Ooh, okay. So, wrapped in pink paper. A lot of 
Now, don't be grumpy. We're going to have a dog fight. No, don't eat that either. We're going to have a dog fight just because, like, this one still has her chewy, and this one already ate hers. Don't, sweetie. She's already eating the paper. Maisie Lynn. Stop. No, no, baby. Okay, so. <laughs> don't tell me to stop this video again. <laughs> Maisie, no, no, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. So much for, like, the dramatic reveal with my dogs in the way. Sweetie, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you weren't so cute. I swear to God. Okay. So, here is a photo and a little card of the doll that... Um, Mike was able to kind of just take some of my specifications and, and what I wanted. And I really was going for, um, I was going for like, I want to go for, you know, her, her backstory is she is <laughs> a 1950s Latina bombshell from Puerto Rico who's making in Hollywood. So the look I wanted, which I've seen one, of course, is similar. And well, again, all these are one of a kind and they're unique. Um, some may look similar, but they have their own tweaks because these faces are hand painted. All the clothes are made by hand and Mike collaborates with um, some, I don't know if you call them clothiers or latiers, is that the word? Latier or seamstress. I don't know what you call these ladies, but he works with Alita Ortez, Ortiz and uh, Tanya Lawrence who have made some of his fashions. He also collabs with um, Mike from Pink Bubble Spa for some hairstyles and things like that. But the face painting is done by Mike and just all the concepts are his. Of course, they're going to be, these dolls are made in small batches and they go up for sale on the website and they go fast. But a, a few of us have been pretty lucky in that Mike kind of has taken some of our ideas and kind of fine tune them to specifications that kind of fit our taste for what we're, we're looking for. Maisie Lynn, please stop, baby. <laughs> Don't lick it. No, no, no. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. <laughs> Can't I ever have a nice video? Can't I ever just have a nice video? Okay. So this is a picture of her on her card. Love triangle in a lot of dots, black and white. Such a cute title. And it talks about... Um, the outfit. Oh, and then also I want to say too that um, there, there. If you go to the website fabulofhollywood.com, um, you're going to see there's. If you have, if you go to the menu, um, there is a uh, a little department store that's created by Mike Buse. It's called Cedrics of Hollywood, where you can buy some cute accessories, additional outfits. That's where the dolls go on sale. Uh, there's a few things I'm hoping make a comeback, like the um, like the makeup kits i thought those were so cute so i want to try to get a set of those hopefully they come back probably talking too fast i'm trying to rush it because my dog is so hard to control but anyway so this doll is one of a kind comes fully dressed in a chic black and white polka dot a sexy sheath with a bare midriff i mean like he literally oh and there's the there's the seam, the the seamstress the creator alita ortiz and mr b himself mr mike but um uh what was i gonna say i can't remember what i was gonna say but anyway, oh just the fact that he really went all in on just like so much attention to detail every doll has their own special you know little bio or background or whatever so anyway so it's time for the big reveal <laughs> Maisie wants to see first don't you baby okay so let's take a look and here she is and as you can see oh she is just beautiful i cannot wait to get her out of this box her face just speaks to me right now. You know why? Because I am a lip person. I wanted her to have um, fire engine red lips, and I love them huge. And this gal just happens to have the hugest, reddest lips I've seen a Fabiola have. Perfectly made for me. She is so cute. I can't wait to take her out. But let's take a minute and look at this packaging, you guys. This is such a cute doll box. It is precious. There is her bio, her origin on the back of the box. What I like about this box is it's a window box. So you actually see the doll inside. It has this cute little border that borders the window. Oh, you can see her accessories inside. Oh, I can't wait to pop her out of here. <gasps> oh, so cute, you guys. I almost don't want to tell you about the website because I don't want any competition for grabbing more dolls. She 
I can tell she's stunning already. Look at the gloss, the shine on those lips and the cat eye makeup. Oh, anyway, so she, um, if you, you'll have to read her story about why she has no eyebrows. You'll just have to read the story. Um, but that's where these come in. So you get different styles of eyebrows. They're vinyl that adhere, not permanently. You can change them out. So you can um, change them out eyebrow for different looks. That's kind of like just one of the special things about her. There are some where he does do hand-painted eyebrows as well, and they're gorgeous. I might try to grab one of those just so I can have like a rep representation of everything he has to offer. But just look at her. She is stunning. The outfit is so 50s. The headscarf, so 50s. Almost like reminds me a little bit of like how some of the gals looked on that movie, A League of Their Own, with Madonna and um, Rosie O'Donnell. Kind of like that 50s kind of old Hollywood look. Oh, I just love it. So anyway, I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to take her out of the box. We're going to set her up, and then we'll take a closer look at the doll herself. Okay, so I was going to... Okay, so let me back up. As you all know, I suck at editing. I just string... <laughs> random videos together. I am not a fancy YouTuber. I'm not a fancy videographer. I'm a social worker by trade who just likes dolls. So anyway, hopefully, hopefully you guys just appreciate the enthusiasm. But anyway, so look at this. I was going to just like set her up and put her in a doll stand and kind of do the 360 and talk about her, which we will. But oh my God, I just had to like take a minute and show you this packaging. Look at her stand. <gasps> It's so cool. Fabiola. <laughs> it's Fabulosa. That's great. This was a special little kind of padding that was on the top of the box to prevent damage. I love this. Okay, so doll stands, awesome, whatever. Okay, <gasps> look at her. She came with her, her specially made sunglasses, which I believe are done on 3D printer. Hopefully somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. She comes with her clutch to go with the outfit. She comes with giant red hoop earrings, her gloves, bracelets, and look at her red sole cha-cha heels. And her body, of course, I haven't taken her off the card yet. Oh, but like her body is kind of like, um, if you know what a, a build lily is, um, the precursor to Barbie. She had a very voluptuous, sexy kind of pinup body. That's what Fabiola has. Look at those legs. So shapely and a bigger bust. <gasps> she looks so great. Uh, and she's, she's heavy. She's got some weight to her. She's not by any means a flimsy doll. <gasps> oh, I can't even handle it. Seriously, you guys, I... I'm shook. Like, I knew I'd love this doll. I didn't know that this experience would be so... Makes me feel so good. It just... Getting a Fabiola will make your day. It's just, it's such a personalized experience with the creator, Mike Buse. Like, he has created an experience. It's not just a doll opening or unboxing or reveal. It is like taking in something that's just one of a kind there's not another one like this in the world and that's how every fabiola is and um it's just so amazing i never knew that a doll opening experience could be so great oh i can't wait to take her off take her off the card and Maisie is just, you can tell she wants to dive in too. But anyway, so let's, I'm going to carefully take her off her card. We'll put her in the doll stand. We'll take a closer look. I can't even wait to do photos for my Instagram of her. She's so pretty. Okay, you guys, we now have Fabiola in her penthouse apartment. And so we have her in her stand. Look at how cute. I can't get over those cute cha-cha heels. Her sunglasses are on. You can see through the lenses, which something Mattel does not do anymore. <laughs> of course, enough about them. Let's talk about this gal. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. She came with her red hoop earrings that we'll put in later. I don't want to kind of muss up her scarf. I even put her glasses in on the outside of the scarf because I don't want to muss up her hair and stuff so <clears throat> i'm sure the glasses probably go over her ear under the scarf but 
for right now, this is what we're doing and she looks cute. And look at this clutch. It has a snap, it can hold her stuff. It can hold her makeup. Oh, my mirror was in the wrong direction. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm not a perfectionist, but you know, you have to have the vanity mirror going the right way. Anyway, so this is, um, that is Mattel makeup. I'm hoping though that Cedrics of Hollywood, um, the department store on the Fabiola of Hollywood website gets maybe some makeup sets back in there because they're cute and I want to buy them. But, um, oh my God, you guys, look at her legs. Look at her figure. Look at those luscious, huge lips right there. And look at the rhinestone belt buckle, just the details. Everything is about the details. Look at that handbag. It's hand sewn, you guys. It's crazy how nice everything is. These 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 outfits are all made by hand from the creators that that design them and make them. It's just amazing. I love so much everything about this. I can't even tell you. My video, she deserves so much better than this video. She deserves so much better than my crappy video and editing skills, you guys. But I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. If you guys get a chance, get one. I know I'm probably creating competition, but I'm going to put the website for the link below my video. I know it's going to cause some competition to get these dolls. They're made in small, small batches to keep the quality high because everything is done by hand. Uh, I just want to say, Mike Buse, thank you so much for this lovely gal. I am now like, okay, what can I sell to kind of get some money to buy some more? I just cannot get enough of this lady. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to be playing with her all day. I have some more things coming from the Cedrics of Hollywood department store shipped on its way. Picked up some extra shoes, kind of picked up an extra outfit. Um, she has a curvier figure, of course. So um, I'm not sure what kind of clothes um, in the wild would fit her, but um, it's my goal to maybe get some more handmade pieces by the artist to actually, um, you know, kind of have her special fashion line of fashion just for herself the fabiola line or whatever <laughs> but anyway i am so happy you guys oh this is just this has really just made my day i tell you what i'm loving this i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day check out the website look for mike buse on facebook and there's also a fabiola hollywood facebook group so feel free to look for it um, and join so enjoy your day and we'll see you soon